It's no secret that the audience adores The Crown. But what about its actors? Well, the show's beloved Countess of Snowden is spilling the beans, and her views are not what you'd expect. So let's find out what Helena Bonham Carter really thinks about her Netflix show. She told The Guardian, I don't think they should carry on. Yep, zero prisoners taken. Just Helena's brutally honest opinion. Now, don't get her wrong, folks. She's not being ungrateful for anything. The Enola Holmes star clarified that she loves that she's on the show, especially the episode she stars in. But Carter believes things aren't the same now, like the glorious historic drama it used to be. So what has changed? Well, the show is now blending with current events. The earlier seasons were about the 1940s and something. Most of us weren't even born back then. Now, the latest season is entering the 1990s and 2000s, and people can actually spot the inaccuracies. Or at least they'll be extra critical. That's not to say the Netflix show isn't a roaring success. There's no doubt the audience is still hooked on it. But most of you would have noticed something. The hype about The Crown has seriously dropped. The latest royal controversies are partially to blame. Yep, I'm talking about one rebellious gingerhead painting the town red. Prince Harry's latest shenanigans make matters even more complicated. His juicy memoir, Brimming with Royal Secrets, came up during Helena's discussion. Her interviewer attempted to elicit some juicy details by asking her about the book Spare, but our girl stayed home. Her ever-graceful reply was, I think it's been given enough attention. Yeah, you're not getting another royal drama headline from her, Guardian. Still, she did say the matter was complicated, so they don't need her to add her two cents to the mess. Now, I don't need to tell you how rocky things have been at Buckingham Palace. So far, 2023 is not the monarchy's year, and the Duke of Sussex's confessions aren't only tainting the royal family, but the show too. That's what the Corpse Bride star was trying to say. As the crown approaches modern times, there's nothing but controversy afoot, like Diana's fishy death or the Duke and Duchess's infamous exit. The show cannot avoid them no matter how hard it tries, and the reason behind it was again pointed out by the Harry Potter alum. In fact, she's been talking about it since 2021. The Crown, according to Helena, is a drama, not a doc drama. Even if you push aside Harry's latest dramas, this problem has become the bane of the show. The viewers continue to accept it as the holy gospel. They just can't differentiate between fiction and reality. In 2021, after season four was released, our real-life Princess Margaret was talking away at the show's official podcast. That's where she expressed her moral responsibility to emphasize the fictional aspect. Netflix is in making and showing a historical documentary. Oh, you better not make that mistake. They're just making things spicy for more views, dramatizing the royal lives according to the British star. So if the creators do dramatize Diana's death, people will just take their word for it. That's why the UK politician Oliver Dowden wanted a fiction tag attached to it. The cultural secretary actually blasted the streaming site for its royal portrayal. In not-so-kind words, he calls the crown highly sophisticated propaganda. He called out, more like demanded, Netflix to make it clear. The show is not factual. Carter and even Dame Judi Dench agreed with his statement. And you know what? The streaming site actually granted their wishes. As of October 2022, the crown comes with a fictional dramatization disclaimer. But that still didn't solve the troubles of its most recent chapter. Season 5 of the show faced intense backlash. Calling it the most controversial season of the crown wouldn't be wrong at all. It really got down and dirty in the Diana Charles marriage. No one prepares you for what it's like to be separated. It's a strange sort of no man's land. Neither married nor single. Neither royal nor normal. Postnatal depression. Just wanted to stay in bed all day. There's no denying how phenomenal Elizabeth Debicki was as Diana. She literally laid bare the princess's turmoil, rebellion, suffering, and pain. Thanks to Debicki's performance and those inner dark marriage secrets, we just couldn't help but be glued to the screens. But there's still that fear. Millions of the series viewers can still take it as the ultimate truth. Yep, 29 million people watch The Crown. To put it into perspective for you, that's 600,000 more views than Diana's real marriage. No wonder Oliver freaked out. What's more, the season's trailer dropped just after Queen Elizabeth II's death. Yeah, that wasn't cool, Netflix. You could have delayed the release out of respect. Just saying, it came off as way too insensitive, especially when Lizzie was being portrayed as the show's villain. All these are examples backed by Helena's statement. The show really should end before it makes matters worse, but Miss Carter does not have universal support, like the actors next in line taking over after 
season four. It turns out the new cast is now defending the show. Jonathan Price, the show's newest Prince Philip, isn't happy with Carter. Your godson's wife. Friendship, Lilibet. She's half your age. I'd like you to befriend Penny. I'd like you to be seen with Penny. You're asking me to legitimize your... My friendship. Or Dench. He told Deadline how he's bitterly disappointed in them. Well, he didn't exactly name them, but we know he was shaming them. Both of them have been publicly criticizing the show. It doesn't make sense to Jonathan. Why? Because Helena has actually starred in it. And Judy has already played two British monarchs. Bryce says people already know it's a drama. Hello? They've been watching it for four seasons. Also, he isn't alone in this stance. The show's new Prince Charles, Dominic West, backs him up too. He says the recent criticism was just enhanced after the Queen's demise. People were just insensitive at the time. Even Imelda Staunton, the new Queen Elizabeth II, agrees. She believes the new season is respectful and honest. It's not undignified for her. Imelda is even coming to the writer's defense. Harry Potter's Umbridge says Peter Morgan adores the royal clan. He's just showing the members positive and negative sides. The rest is up to the audience. They can make the decision themselves. Okay, well what about the monarchy itself? Is she happy with the crown. Not even close. Even King Charles III is wary of the upcoming season. Not that he directly said that. Come on, he's the king now. Royal author Katie Nichol echoed his worries. She told the BBC that his former staff mentioned something like this. Hear this, our boy Charlie was always afraid Diana would overshadow his reign. Um, paranoid much, your highness? Still, I get his concerns. Now is the time for the public to rally behind him and the queen consort. But will they get it if Netflix is recapping their affair. It sounds unlikely to me. Katie also said the crown attracts the younger generation. They don't know how accurate the plot is, so they'll believe whatever they see. Disclaimer or no disclaimer? That's really not looking good for the king. Keep in mind the sixth season will show Diana's infamous death. That is a Pandora's box that the monarchy does not want to open. Why would they want to relive that controversy? But they might have to. Season six will drop sooner or later, and you can bet it'll be hot. Still, there's one piece of good news, or bad news if you're a fan of the show. Rumor has it that the upcoming season may very well be the last. It turns out Morgan had secretly agreed with Carter. He doesn't want to bring the show down, so the writer may quit while he's ahead. At least that's what executive producer Suzanne Mackey says. Only time will tell if this is true or not. And that's all I have on Helena's comments and the crown drama. See you next time.